Hello again. Well, I'm still here in England enjoying some lovely summer weather at last. And even though I'm finding it hard to break away from watching the tennis at Wimbledon, I thought I'd follow up on a video that I did last week on feelings. I got a lot of great comments on that one, so it must have struck a chord, I guess. My thanks to those who wrote in, by the way. Last week, we talked about how we not only tend to avoid feelings, but also resist sharing what we feel with others, especially if it's painful. In England, it's what we call our national reserve, I guess. But we also know that stuffing our emotional pain over the long term is bad for our health. So I thought I would go over some of the mechanisms that we use to avoid confronting our pain and, as a consequence, fail to heal it. But let me start at the outset here by uh, saying that many of these strategies are in fact natural defense mechanisms essential to our survival. They protect us from emotional overload in moments of intense stress. Well, this is not happening, is a denial response, for example. Or, no, I can't accept that, I can't accept that. That's denial. Temporarily suppressing our pain until such time as we can be psychologically ready to confront it head on is another safety mechanism that we use. In extreme cases, like when a child is sexually abused, repression is used to block the pain completely, completely out of conscious awareness. 